The fact that you can come up here away from the city, you know, no smog in the air and you just have nature around you and young men who are in the same mindset as you trying to get the same goal, like it really develops the way that you grow as a person and like think about things. We set up under the stars here. As you can see, we're not in the city. Is that a full moon, gentlemen? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like that's a full moon we got here. So we reflect on what, what nature is about. So that's where we at. Yeah, I'd recommend it to someone who's aspiring to be a leader, because that's what this camp really should be called, a leadership camp, yeah, really built to my leadership qualities. I would like to thank all the people for changing my life and, and showing, me, showing me things that I didn't know about. So, yeah, thank you. A boy is just going to say things. Okay, yeah, I'm going to tell you what you want to hear. A man, not only are they going to tell you the right thing, but they're going to tell you, okay, this is how I'm doing this in my life. This is how I plan to achieve that goal. The speakers gave me a little insight to their leadership qualities. And I got to see those leadership qualities in action. This is the part where you, you give it all you got. This is the part where you go in lion mode, right? The bite mode, right? You want to rip the heart out. You don't want to be in gazelle mode where, you, where you're just kind of tentative, you're scared, you're, you're, you have some fear, you don't make a commitment, you're always running from it and not actually approaching and executing, okay? So this is when you want to do the grunt work. My favorite parts of the weekend were mostly hanging out with people I wouldn't usually hang out with at school. I got to meet new people, make new friends, and I just like to expand my circle. I had such a good time joking around, laughing, playing sports, and just really having fun. Yeah, I definitely felt like I, I grew as a person, you know. Some, sometimes through interviewers, they look at the skills that you have, like the qualifications, like is he efficient in Excel, is he efficient in Microsoft Word, is he efficient in PowerPoint, is he efficient in IFTA? They're gonna look at that. And once they say, oh, can you do that? They're gonna expect for you to articulate what that means. This is important because you get to kind of turn yourself into a man. It will inspire you, it'll, you'll learn a lot, and you're gonna be a successful man. That's it. And when you look me in my eyes, I know I'm blessed. I keep a queen to my left, I'm gonna play chess. Yes. I got to develop my public speaking. That's still one of the hardest things people can do, is speak out publicly. So now, with this opportunity for you all to practice, encourage each other. Because when you leave high school and you go to do your job, People that know how to speak out confidently and know how to articulate themselves move very fast in the world. I can say that right now. Uh, the question was my ideal community. What does my ideal community look like? Okay, so we had a couple of things like safe, clean, well-trained cops, uh, clean, cool trees and stuff like that. But uh, one of the biggest things that I came up with, we should have like an MPUID at every school because like this is a really good program. So like we should implement it in more schools, not just a uh, mirror. You got a, a great mentoring program to guide you and give you right directions. All you have to do is follow what they say to do and you'll be successful. What is your purpose in life? Everybody was born to do something. What do you want to do? Why did God put you here? Y'all should actually be thanking yourselves because uh, the simple fact of y'all showing up this weekend and being here, um, y'all already ahead of the game. By you guys making the choice to come out here and spend these four days and three nights with us, um, you know, that shows us that you want to succeed. You want the knowledge that you need to be successful. You young men of color are champions. And I know it's hard to see it because you're young. But the thing that was the most moving part for this whole trip was to see you come in one way and in four days see you leave another way. That's movement of progress. And to witness that in you all, I can't ask for anything else. I'd like to give a special thanks to the president of the Stanley W. Ekstrom Foundation, Lawrence Felix.